Car owners spend hundreds each year on fuel additives, oil stabilizers, transmission treatments, and more, all promising better mileage, cleaner engines, and longer life. But are they helping or slowly wrecking your engine while draining your wallet? Today we're diving deep into the murky world of car additives, starting with two that actually work. Then we'll expose 13 total scams you should avoid like the plague. Let's get into it. Number 1. Fuel Injector Cleaner This is probably the most legit additive you'll find on the shelf. And no, it's not because of the fancy label or the brand name. It's because it actually targets a real-world issue – carbon buildup in your fuel system. Over time, tiny carbon deposits form inside your fuel injectors those little nozzles that spray fuel into your engine. When they get clogged or gummed up, your fuel spray isn't as fine or precise. That leads to poor combustion, rough idling, hesitation when you hit the gas, and worse gas mileage. Products like Chevron Tecron contain polyetheramine, or PEA, a powerful detergent that actually breaks down those carbon deposits inside your injectors and intake valves. It doesn't work overnight, and it's not something you should pour into your tank every week. But if your engine feels a bit sluggish, your idle's a little shaky, or you're noticing a drop in miles per gallon, running a bottle through your tank every 3 to 5,000 miles can genuinely help clean things up and smooth things out. Number 2. Oil Seal Conditioner Now let's talk about the second additive that actually works. If your car is leaving tiny oil spots in the driveway or you're noticing a slow drip under the engine, this product might help. We're talking about oil seal conditioners like AT205 Reseal. Now to be clear, this isn't magic. It's not going to fix a cracked gasket, a busted oil pan, or major engine wear. What it can do is recondition rubber seals and o-rings that have gotten brittle or dried out over time. Those little rubber components can shrink or harden with age, and when they do, they stop sealing oil properly. AT205 works by softening and slightly expanding those seals, restoring their flexibility so they can seal better and stop small leaks. And here's the cool part. It doesn't contain any petroleum distillates or thickeners like some cheap products, so it doesn't gunk up your oil or damage engine internals. But let me be honest, it's a temporary fix. It might stop the leak for a few months, maybe longer if you're lucky, but it's not a substitute for replacing worn out seals. Still, for 15 to 20 bucks, if you're trying to squeeze a few more months out of an aging daily driver before taking it into the shop, it's not a bad band aid. But sadly, that's where the good news ends. Because what comes next is a whole lineup of products that overpromise, underdeliver, and in some cases actually make things worse. Number 1. Octane Boosters If you've ever stood in front of the gas pump debating whether to spring for premium, you've probably seen bottles claiming to boost your octane rating, turning regular fuel into high-performance race gas. But here's the truth. Most of these only raise your octane rating by a fraction. We're talking 1 or 2 points at best. And that doesn't mean from 87 to 89. It means from 87.0 to 87.2, hardly a game changer. Unless you're driving a tuned performance car that requires higher octane, and even then, you should be using proper premium fuel, dumping in a bottle of octane booster won't make your Corolla feel like a Corvette. And some cheap ones even contain manganese-based additives that can leave behind deposits and foul up spark plugs over time. Bottom line, for the average driver, octane boosters are like putting premium icing on a loaf of white bread. Number 2. Transmission Fix in a Can Now this one's a classic. You hear your transmission slipping or clunking, and instead of dropping a couple of grand on a rebuild, you're tempted by a $10 bottle promising to restore performance, smooth shifting, or repair seals instantly. It sounds too good to be true, and that's because it is. Most of these so-called transmission fixes rely on viscosity modifiers, basically thickeners that make your transmission fluid more syrupy. The idea is that thicker fluid creates more pressure, which might mask symptoms for a short time. But modern transmissions are incredibly sensitive. Thicker fluid can throw off internal pressures, confuse sensors, and mess with solenoids. In the worst cases, it can actually accelerate wear or lead to overheating. Number 3. Engine Flush Additives Engine flushes sound great in theory. Pour in this liquid, run the engine for a few minutes, and watch years of sludge magically disappear. It's like a detox cleanse, but for your motor. The problem? The human body can handle juice cleanses. Your engine, not so much. Most engine flushes are loaded with strong solvents, the kind that breaks down sludge fast. But if your engine has a lot of buildup, those chunks can suddenly break loose and clog your oil passages, block your pickup screen, or jam your hydraulic lifters. 
Instead of cleaning your engine, you might just starve it of oil, causing more damage than the sludge ever did. If you've taken care of your car with regular oil changes, you don't need a flush. And if you haven't, a flush might be the last straw for an already tired engine. Number 4. PTFE-Based Oil Additives Like Slick 50 PTFE, better known as Teflon, the non-stick stuff in your frying pan, is marketed in some oil additives with the claim that it'll coat your engine's metal surfaces, reduce friction, and improve longevity. Sounds high-tech, right? Here's the truth. PTFE doesn't belong in your engine oil. It doesn't dissolve. It doesn't flow. It clumps. And over time, it can block tiny oil passages, filter screens, or even damage sensitive components like oil control solenoids. Back in the day, Slick 50 even faced lawsuits and FTC action for exaggerated claims about engine life and protection. Modern engine oils already contain friction modifiers and anti-wear additives designed by actual chemical engineers. You don't need to toss in non-stick particles from your kitchen drawer. Number 5. Radiator Sealers If you've ever noticed your coolant level dropping or spotted a green puddle under your car, it's tempting to reach for one of those radiator stop leak bottles. You know the ones that promise to seal leaks instantly with some kind of advanced crystal powder or nanotechnology? Yeah, no. Here's what these actually do. They circulate through your cooling system, and when they find air around a leak, they harden. Sounds fine, right? Except the same gunk can harden inside your heater core, thermostat housing, or worse, the tiny passages inside your radiator. Instead of just plugging a hole, you could end up blocking coolant flow, causing overheating, and turning a $30 leak into a $2,000 repair. If your radiator's leaking, take it seriously. Either replace the hose, patch the core properly, or get a pressure test done. Don't toss in a chemical cork and pray it holds. Number 6. Fuel Line Magnets there are still companies out there selling magnets you clamp around your fuel line. No liquid, no chemicals, just magnets. According to these companies, these magnets will somehow align the fuel molecules and make them burn more efficiently, giving you more power and better mileage. But there's zero scientific evidence to support this. Fuel doesn't respond to magnets like that. These things are literally useless. In fact, back in the early 2000s, the EPA actually tested a bunch of fuel-saving devices and the magnetic ones consistently did nothing. Some even made performance worse. But they still sell because of one thing, hope. People want to believe there's a $20 fix for their gas bill. But when it comes to magnets, save them for your fridge, not your fuel line. Number 7. Oil Stabilizers Oil stabilizers are usually thick, sticky liquids you add to your engine oil. The promise? Better lubrication, less wear, quieter operation. Some even say it reduces oil burning. But most modern engines are engineered with extremely tight tolerances. Thicker oil might seem like extra protection, but in reality it can slow down oil flow, especially on cold starts. Cold start is when your engine needs oil the most. If that thick stabilizer is bogging down the flow, you're doing more harm than good. Plus, modern synthetic oils already contain stabilizers, detergents, anti-foaming agents, and friction reducers engineered for your engine's needs. You don't need to mess with the chemistry unless a qualified mechanic recommends it for a very specific reason. Number 8. Exhaust Smoke Stopper Additives If you've got blue smoke coming out of the tailpipe, you know something's wrong. Usually, it means oil is getting into the combustion chamber, either through bad valve seals, worn piston rings, or a failing PCV system. And that's when these smoke stopper bottles start to look appealing. They promise to thicken your oil, reduce burning, and make the smoke go away. Yes, it can temporarily reduce how much oil gets past worn seals by thickening your oil. But that's like tuning down the brightness on your TV to fix a cracked screen. It doesn't address the real issue, it just hides the symptom. And the side effects? Thicker oil stresses your oil pump, slows circulation, and in some engines messes with variable valve timing systems that rely on precise oil flow. Plus, if you use this stuff too often, you could clog up your catalytic converter, which is a very expensive repair. If you see smoke, get the problem diagnosed. These additives are short-term camouflage with long-term consequences. Number 9. Carburetor Cleaners for Modern Cars This one's less of a scam and more of a time traveler. You'll still see products on the shelf labeled as Carb Cleaner or Carburetor Treatment. And to be fair, they work just fine if your car was built before 1990. But if you're driving a modern fuel-injected engine, which, let's be honest, is literally every car on the road right now, this stuff is useless. 
Worse, some people try pouring it into the tank or throttle body of a modern car, hoping it'll clean out deposits. In reality, it does nothing helpful and may even throw off sensors. Carburetors haven't been standard on new vehicles since the early 90s. If you're still using carb cleaner on a modern engine, it's like trying to fix your smartphone with a VHS head cleaner. Save it for your lawnmower or your grandpa's 78 Camaro. Number 10. E85 Performance Boosters These bottles claim to replicate the performance of E85 fuel, a high ethanol blend known for boosting horsepower in tuned engines. The idea is just pour it in and boom, more power. Except that's not how it works. E85 requires a completely different fuel mapping and a flex fuel compatible engine. You can't just dump a booster in and expect results. If your ECU isn't tuned to run higher ethanol content, you're not getting better combustion. You're just confusing your fuel system. And improper ethanol levels can cause corrosion, fuel pump wear, and even damage to rubber lines or seals in cars not designed for it. So unless your vehicle is E85 ready and tuned accordingly, this booster is like pouring race fuel into a blender. Loud, but not useful. Number 11. Oil Leak Stop Additives Earlier, I mentioned AT205 Reseal as a rare exception, a product that gently reconditions rubber seals without wrecking your engine. But the cheaper stop leak additives? Totally different story. Most of these contain petroleum distillates or chemical swellers that artificially bloat your engine seals. And sure, it might stop the leak temporarily, but it's doing it by overexpanding your rubber gaskets. Think of it like putting a band-aid over a pipe and then watching that band-aid melt into glue. These additives also thicken your oil, which sounds protective, but it can actually mess up oil flow, especially in tight tolerance engines. Over time, you're just inviting sludge buildup and component wear. If you need a short-term fix, go for a quality seal conditioner. But if you're using the bargain bin stop leak stuff, you're gambling with your engine. Number 12. Fuel Saving Additives Fuel saving additives are everywhere. They promise to increase your fuel economy by 10, 15, even 25% just by pouring them into your gas tank. Let's be crystal clear. No additive gives you a 10% fuel economy boost. Not even close. The EPA, AAA, and independent labs have tested dozens of these miracle mileage products. And the overwhelming result is this. No measurable improvement. At best, some contain detergents like PEA, similar to what you find in Tecron, but even then, it's not enough to actually improve your MPG unless you have a serious carbon buildup to begin with. And a lot of these products just make vague claims, using terms like fuel optimizer or energy enhancer. It's marketing fluff, not chemistry. If you want better gas mileage, keep your tires properly inflated, avoid aggressive driving, and use a good fuel system cleaner when needed. Not every tank. Number 13. Engine Metal Conditioners Finally, let's talk about one of the most dangerous additives pretending to be advanced tech, engine metal conditioners. These products claim to coat your engine with a micro layer of metallic particles or reduce internal wear using nanotechnology. Sounds futuristic, almost impressive. But here's the thing, your engine does not need extra metal floating around inside it. These products often introduce fine metallic particles like zinc, copper, and sometimes even tungsten under the idea that they'll form a protective film over your parts. But in reality, you're dumping foreign material into an incredibly sensitive system. Your oil filter can only catch so much. If any of that metal ends up in oil passages, it can scratch surfaces, clog journals, or even damage your turbocharger if your car has one. There's a reason engine oil is engineered to prevent metal-on-metal -metal contact. Adding metal to your oil defeats the whole point. If you want protection, buy quality synthetic oil and change it regularly. Leave the metal conditioners to sci-fi novels and shady late-night infomercials. So there you have it, 13 car additives that range from useless to outright harmful, all marketed with bold promises and flashy labels. But now you know what actually works and what should never go anywhere near your engine. Take care of your car the right way and it'll take care of you. Hit that like button, subscribe if you learned something new, and drop a comment if you've ever tried one of these before.